Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. We are still going through the Christmas event. We're running out of time. It is extremely close now, guys. Unfortunately, you don't have a lot of days. You have 13 days left to make this happen. Have had a lot of, you know, well, Christmas related events going on, so I haven't had as much time to play. I am still trying to get the Dunce Crappie. I'm more than halfway through with the amount that I need to get the Krampus Tarpon. But I thought, since I'm going to be taking a while with that, that I might do a, you know, kind of take a side trail here and show you a couple of the other missions that are going on at the moment. These shouldn't be as complicated or as involved as some of the others. But it says here the Runaway Gingerbread Men is the one that really kind of caught my interest. As soon as the gingerbread men were taken out of the oven, they scattered every which way and headed straight to different locations. Lone Star, Emerald, Everglades, Blue Crab Island, Lesney Vila, Tiber, Sander Baggersee, Maku Maku, and Marone. These cunning fellows are so good at camouflage you can only find them using Santa's headlamp. When you arrive in a location, grab the red bag and collect all the gingerbread runaways. So you only have to get them from one pond. So I think what I'm going to do is go the cheap route <laughs> and head for Lone Star. That would Well, actually, I'm already at Emerald. Let's try it there. Let's might as well try it there because that's where I was catching the Dunce Crappie. I was trying to do it at the Everglades and wasn't having as much luck. thought I might try at that location. might have a little more of an impact here. Let me see here, guys. We need to go to our inventory and equip Santa's headlamp. I already was able to acquire that with one of the other missions. So that is not in my back. Yeah, it is. It is in my backpack. I assume I put it right there. Why can't I? Maybe I have to take this off. No. Oh, I have to actually be off the map. Let me get out of here. I'm sorry about that, guys. Well, we'll just go to Lone Star Lake. It's not a big deal. Lone Star is a little more... A little easier to get around. I think you would need the boat in order to get around Emerald Lake to look for these things. So let's go ahead and go there. Now let's try it. That's probably what the problem was. I hope it is anyway. If it's not... Well, let's try dropping it at home. Okay. And Santa's headlamp. Uh-oh. Well, I tell you what. Maybe I have to come at night. I do remember something about that. So let's go ahead and go back to the globe. We'll go down to... Lone Star Lake. Fast forward it tonight and see if that doesn't fix the problem. So I did see a bag that said something about you must come here at night or something like that. Also, I might be able to get some free Christmas gifts here now. But I th yeah, there's the Christmas gift up here. Oh, there it is. I got Fire Shark Epic Rockets. Okay. There's the jukebox. Now, I think this is when, what I have to... Yeah, equip Santa's headlamp and wait until darkness. So let's see if... I can equip it now. Why can't I equip it? Hmm. Well. I don't understand. Why can't I equip it? I'm not wearing a helmet or hat or anything. 
And it's grayed out like I can't... Well, let's try advancing to nighttime. We'll just see if that's the problem. Ah! Equip Santa's headlamp. Let me see. Now can we do it? No. Ugh. Well, that sucks. Thought we'd be able to take care of one of these missions, but for some reason or another, it's not letting me do it. It's not letting me do it, dudes. Yeah, the instructions on this is pretty... Not as self-intuitive as it should be. So we're going to put that back on until we can figure out what's going on with the Santa's headlamp. We do have Santa's tackle box. <laughs> That's messed up. I don't understand. Now, apparently you do have to follow these in order, guys doesn't make that clear. It would be nice to be able to knock out a couple of them while you're doing some other things, but they didn't make that possible. So we're going to have to continue on the grinding, I guess. Thought I could get something out there for you guys. Really did, but it's not looking good here. Well, let me go ahead and head on into Emerald Lake. We'll try to get a little bit of this done while we're sitting here. I tell you, this is tough, guys. This is a lot of grinding. This is a lot of grinding. And there's really no way to speed it up any that I can come up with. You just have to put in the time and... So guys, if you have a problem getting this done, don't worry. Believe me, I understand. It is the holidays. You're visiting family. And, you know, obviously you're going to have things to do. So I wish the heck this would work. Polar lights, glasses. Well, apparently you can look for them. Well, that's right. It did say that. I was going to see if there's a Christmas gift here. And I think there is, but I probably have to get there by boat. Well, let's go ahead and try to get some of these dunce crappie, because this is where I've been catching them. Not well, it seems like, but I did manage to get a quite a few more uh, things that they will go after. They still seem to go after the marshmallows better than just about anything else, though. But I thought I'd give some of these others a try and see how well they do. These are ones from the last Christmas. It's the ones that are still on the Fisherman Fishing Planet version. So we're going to keep using those up until they're gone because they're really of no use in this particular event. And I'm going to try this Turdilly, whatever this is. But let's go ahead. I think they said something about clipping it too. So we're going to throw it out about 40, 30 or 40 feet and then hit the C. To clip it. Apparently that makes it faster to cast. And we got candy wax worms here. That's probably a little far there guys. Well that was disappointing. I really thought maybe I had I was on to something there. <laughs> Didn't quite work out to what I was hoping. Yeah, the mission on the Fisherman Fishing Planet is considerably easier to do. But we're going to go ahead and get this rocking and rolling again. But just like with the, the Gobies, you got to play the music. Apparently you can catch them without the music. It's just a lot harder and it's hard enough to do without them.
Yep, see, we're still getting the Gobies, which is a problem. And I'm going to try switching that because I really don't want to waste time with them. Let's do that. What size hook do we have on here? One. Let's go a little bit bigger because, honestly, I want to try to avoid those Gobies. That's just wasting time. See? Same problem. Well, I thought I might have been on to something, but it seems like to be the par for the course here. It looks like marshmallows is going to be that or ginger cookies. Let's try ginger cookies. We have a bunch of those. I'm hoping with the bigger hook, the monkey gobies won't be able to get them. There we go. That's what we're after right there. Oh, and I need to switch missions back over. Forgot about that. That's still counted, though. Are you sh I almost swore there, dudes. <laughs> almost did. Why didn't the hook? Oh, the clip didn't set for some reason. I thought I clipped it. Yeah, the marshmallows are definitely doing better. But you still get those Aracus, but you're going to have to catch a whole butt ton of those, too. So, even though it looks like it's not helping you any, it actually is. So, we're kind of almost doing two missions right now. Well, they quit. You really kind of got to watch and see if they move, because if you pull it up too soon, it's going to tell you and you've wasted your time. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and risk this one. Nope. See, even though they were biting, they didn't get on there. Mm. Well, that was a terrible cast. Yeah, it seems like they're not biting as much with the music either. I don't know what the deal is with that. strike done too early. But you can see why I was trying to come off with something else to do here, because this is definitely a lot of grinding. There we go. Blue dunce crappie. I think the blue dunce crappie are the prettiest. I better grab that while I can. Yep. That's what I was afraid was going to happen. And I still got a blue foolish Golby. Dang on it. Let's see what cook. That's a one odd. Okay, let me try a little bit bigger. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I really just don't want to waste my time with the Dagon Gobies. It's not doing anything for me. And that's the red. He's got blue eyes. And yes, I know the music was not going on, but that doesn't mean anything. A lot of times they start biting as the music's ending and you'll still catch them. I've had quite a few times where I'd get a whole line of these fish, these minion fish, even after it shuts off. 
but it'll switch over to regular fish real fast. Okay, the 2 watt does not seem to change anything. Now let's see if it'll get just the crappie. That's what I'm hoping. Well, come on, guys. We've got to pick up the pace here a little bit. Barely halfway through this. See, that is aggravating. Really aggravating. The monkey gobies, it was almost one right after another. This is... There's got to be a trick to this. I've tried everything, but I cannot seem to increase the bite rate. See, nothing's biting at all now. That's wrong. See, that's just wrong. They're wasting those tokens, and I'm not sure I agree with that. I've hardly caught anything this round. It's like you almost have to deal with the smaller fish. getting any bites hardly here guys we're gonna go back to the number one hook that means monkey gobies or foolish gobies Yep, almost as soon as I put that hook on there, it started getting a reasonable bite. Well, I did get one, though. Thought we'd test it out. And that's always a good thing to do, just... Try things out, see what they do, see if they, one thing works better than another. See, now we're getting bites. But we also ran out of time. Right now, we seem to be getting some of the right kinds of fish. A little bit too little, too late. There we go. Now, see. Green Bandit Ericu. Well, we're just going to have to live with the fact that we're going to get other species. There's not much we can do about that. I want to recast this one. All right. 
right, let's see if... Now we still got tokens. I'm not sure I have that many left. Yeah, the w number one hook seems to get the best bite rate. Well, that gets us up to 60, so we're more than halfway on one. We're getting them now, guys. I don't know what was up earlier. It's like the fish rotate. There we go. Now we're talking. <laughs> I will say one thing though the cash I have gotten playing this has been amazing I'll give you an idea I'm over 200,000 cash now when I started, it was around 60. Ah, damn little buggers. Trying to see which one of those two is actually going to do something here. Number two. I think it's an Ericu, yep. we're going to get the green ones done way before the blue or the red. In fact, we're not getting that many of the red at all. Come on. Now it's quit altogether. Up, damn blue goat. Damn blue foolish goby. Yeah, I'm thinking the timer is going to be out by now. Ugh. Every one I, every time I catch one of those, it just. It's the crap out of me. Well, that's it. But we did get a red one, I think. Yep. So the red and the blue are now tied. This will probably be another minion fish, but that's probably all we're going to get. And it is a blue. Very good. Well, that's what we got to deal with, guys. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is what we have to deal with. But it is what it is. 
I am going to go ahead and pull this real quick and take my boat out. I want to go check something out on the other side there. I want to see if we can get something out of the Christmas present. And I think it's got to be over there because I did not see it over here at all. Unless it's hidden back here in the bushes somewhere. It could be. No, not this way. Yep, I think we have to get on the boat to find it. Should be a present here somewhere. Take advantage of the presents. You're going to need it. What we'll do is we'll boat over here, see if there's anything on this other bank. There's really only two other places that I know of that you can actually walk out on. One's right over here, and I'm not seeing anything. And the other one's over there. I think, yep, there it is. I had a feeling. Oh, nice. We got a token. That we needed. That we needed. How many did that give us, guys? Probably don't have that many left. Been using the dickens out of them. Actually, that may be the only one I have. Huh. Well, not sure what I'm going to have to do. I may actually have to break down and use some gold to get more of them. That's what I had to do one other time. You'd think 50 of them would have gotten me through the game, but nope. <laughs> Did not do it. I'm just checking over here real quick to see if there's anything over here either. I don't think so. Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. All I can tell you is you're going to be doing some grinding and spend a lot of time with this. But, if you got the time, go for it. Because the rewards are pretty good. The cash is good. That is probably the best part about this. It has really increased my cash. Like I said, 200,000. And that's because you're bringing in so many of those minion fish. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.